Today I'm going to teach you how to read the Vectorscope in DaVinci Resolve. So in order to enable the Vectorscope, the first thing we're going to do is to go into the Color tab and then right click Show Scopes. As you can see this is the histogram, so I'm just going to change it into the Vectorscope. The Vectorscope basically shows us the degree in hue of saturation of our image. As you can see, we have these little squares. These little squares are red, magenta, blue, cyan, green and yellow. So basically this is showing us how close we are to each one of these values. As I said, the Vectorscope also shows us the amount of saturation of our image. So the closer to the edge, the more saturated our image is. Let me show you an example. If I increase saturation, look what's going to happen. As you can see, this has grown a lot. The image, of course, is completely destroyed with too much saturation. So this is just an example, I'm just going to bring it back to zero. The other thing I really like about the Vectorscope is this tool right here. If you click on these three dots, you can enable the skin tone indicator. This line is basically giving us a guide to where the skin should be. Let me show you an example. If I select the qualifier and I click on the skin, as you can see, our skin is leaning a little bit too much towards yellow. So we can just adjust it and be closer to the skin line indicator. I would go into the wheels and just move the gain a little bit. I'm not going to move it too much. I don't want to make it too red. And that's it, with this simple adjustment, her skin looks a little bit better. So this is how you read the Vectorscope in DaVinci Resolve. And that's all for today's video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you soon.